today's lecture is the introduction introductory lecture for measurement and evaluation the term measurement and evaluation have been derived from the sanskrit two sanskrit terms one is mulyapan and another is mapan the measurement is has been derived from the term mapan and the evaluation has been derived from the mulyapan the measurement is the process of obtaining a numerical description of the degree to which an individual possesses a particular characteristic it is assignment of numbers using variety of the instruments like uh, tests rating scale and so on quantifying how much does le learner learned it is the collection of the information on which the decisions are made every time a test is used it must have its score called the measurement to measure anything we need some standard scales questionnaires or an instrument uh, known as test measurement is finding out the quantity of anything it is weighing something in the words of the thorn dike anything that exists in some quantity and is capable of being measured is called measurement in the words of campbell the assignment of the numerical to objects events according to the certain rules is called the measurement and next is the evaluation evaluation has been derived from the term sanskrit term mulyapan it refers to the process of making the judgments assigning values and deciding worth the use of measurement in making the decisions is the evaluation evaluation is the process of interpreting analyzing assessing the data obtained from the test the statistical treatment of analysis of data as per the purpose of the test is called the evaluation evaluation is as old as the man man's first attempt to te teach someone something before the pen and printing technology evaluation was mainly limited to the oral testing it was recitation of the tests oral answers of the questions in the country like india later half of the 19th century educators began to realize certain outcomes in depending solely on the oral testing so they came with the supplementary method of the testing which was written test dated back to 2200 bc the chinese were believed to use the written test in the national system of education to select the public servants the first time these written tests were used in the education by the cambridge university england in 1702 evaluation is the process of collecting information on the basis of the judgments or uh, on the basis of which judgments are formed and that in turn are used for making the decisions this has evaluation has three phases first is information gathering second is forming the judgments and last is making the decision information gathering is to gather information about the competencies or developments in a candidate or the achievements of the candidate and forming the judgments in terms of the learning outcomes have we realized the learning outcomes or not and on the basis of that making the decisions um, have we go for the this remedial teaching or not what type of grade we have to give uh, on the, for the particular achievement of a candidate okay now the measurement as it is Me, sorry evaluation as it is measurement plus value judgment in the words of bbe the evaluation 
is the systematic collection and interpretation of evidences leading as a part of a process to the judgment of a value with a view of to action. This definition of Campbell Bebe has four key elements. Those are systematic collection of the evidences, interpretation of the evidences, judgment of value, and action oriented. What does these three, four key elements mean? First is evaluation is systematic collection of evidences. This is require, required for making the value judgments. Evidence must be gathered purposefully through a planned and conscious efforts. Information gathered through uh, various sources by applying different types of the tools, for example, interview schedules, observations, uh, tests, or questionnaires, or rating scales, and so on. Second is interpretation of the evidences. Only the gathering of evidences is not enough. Gathering of evidence should facilitate the judgment process also. Interpretation from all kinds of the perspectives. And the next is judgment of the value. Not only the description of evidences is enough, it is effort to judge how well a system, a process, or a product matches with the expected outcomes. Last is the action oriented. For the sake of making the judgments and giving the grades, giving the certificates, evaluation does not serve the purpose. Evaluation must lead to the decision making. So it serves the goal of framing best policies, effective practices in the education. That's all for today. Stay tuned to the channel till I will be back with the next video lecture. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay motivated.